This is a book that isn't really popular, I think, but it's extremely good. It's called Concepts in Abstract Algebra, and it was written by a man named Charles Lansky. It's part of the Brooks Cole series in Advanced Mathematics. It's a hardcover. Let's check the copyright. This was published, I believe, around 2005, 2006. Yeah, there it is. 2005, Brooks Cole. So it's been a while. And this book is worth getting. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Um, it has a lot of topics that other books don't have. It also takes a very general approach. Like a lot of the theorems are stated for like a family of sets instead of just two sets. So he generalizes everything quite well. It starts with the review. So we have sets, index sets and partitions, induction, well ordering and induction, functions, bijections and inverses, cardinality and infinite sets, some preliminaries, and then he goes into groups. And then we have special groups, subgroups, normal subgroups and quotients, morphisms, structure theorems, conjugation, group actions, rings, ideals, quotient rings, and homomorphisms, Factorization in Integral Domains. I remember reading this. I spent some time with this book. I used it for self-study as an undergrad and as an independent study I did with a professor. Commutative Rings, Fields, and Galois Theory. So I spent a lot of time on this, on the Noetherian Ring stuff uh, when I was an undergrad. And this is a pretty tough book. Um, let's see what, let's see what uh, Lancey says here about, this is interesting, it says, what prompted me to add to the collection of upper division level abstract algebra texts? Those I have used have not been a great help to most students in mastering the concepts of abstract algebra. In addition, these texts usually do not have enough exercises on the theorems and techniques. Okay, so basically he's saying that this book should provide a remedy for that. Now, he talks about exercises, and I agree that this book does have a lot of exercises. However, I mean, there are answers, but... Right, there could be more. It's just some of the answers. It would have been better, I think, if there would have been more answers, but uh, I'm sure there's reasons that those weren't included. In any case, you do have a lot of exercises, and there's a lot of proofs of the theorems. So if you look throughout the book, you will see that Lansky takes incredible steps to go through detailed proofs to basically you know, show you the proofs, which is pretty cool. A lot of books will just say, you know, the proof is an exercise to the reader. Lansky doesn't necessarily do that. He actually goes through and gives the proofs, you see, very detailed. And then when we look at the exercises, see there's quite a few. The, the, the layout is a bit intimidating. I mean, look, it's just, it's just kind of frightening. You look at all that, it's like, well, it's a lot of math, but it's a math book. Um, he does a good job with the proofs, explaining everything. There's great exercises. Nothing really negative to say about this book, uh, other than like the layout is a little bit, like you look at it and it's just like a wall of math, but it is math. I mean, what do you expect? It just, the layout is a little bit different from other books, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It does look a little bit different. Like here it says example, but it's not like big. So just little stuff. I gotta give it a whiff here, just. Ah, so could you use this as a beginner to learn abstract algebra? Well, I guess you could, uh, but I, I think there's better beginner books. You know, the books like by Galleon or Saracino, they're a little bit easier than this one. Um, so this one's a little bit harder. This one, this one has more topics too than a lot of the other beginner books. So it's kind of like a middle of the road book. It's not as comprehensive as say like Dummit and Foot, but it's certainly got more content than Daracino. So it's somewhere like a mid-level um, abstract algebra book. This book, by the way, was, rep was recommended to me um, by a professor that I was doing an independent study with as an undergrad in commutative algebra. And he let me borrow some of his books and told me to read some stuff. And he told me to get this book. So I bought it. So yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Anyways, just wanted to show you this book. Um, you can use it for self-study. Again, I don't think it's the best beginner book, but I do think it's a great book and it belongs in, I mean, my collection. I have it. So I like it. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Also, if you want to learn math, 
Uh, I do have courses, check them out. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Um, they're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, uh, please use the links from my website. Take care.